Hi from Mexico. We literally just landed about three hours ago. Got to our hotel about 25 minutes ago. Quickly got changed into our swimwear and we're off to the pool. We've just checked into our room. It is so hot, we've stripped off. So I'm not gonna give you a proper room tour because we're gonna quickly get dressed and freshen up. But I thought I would give you a quick look at the bathroom while I come and check it out myself. It's massive. There's a double sink situation going on, which I absolutely love. Oh, there's like a tea, coffee, fridge. Oh, water, yes. Desperately need some water. There's a safe in here, a wardrobe. The loo is in here. And where's the light switch? Oh, very large walk-in shower. Hold on a second, I've just spotted this in our room. Just look at this. What's up? Oh, wow. Have I got a bar? Do you just get like vodka? Oh yeah. These must be like different types of tequila. No, London dry gin. That's hilarious. I don't know. Well, that's so weird. I've literally never seen that anywhere before. We've been to the pool bar. I'm on my first cocktail, even though I had like two G&Ts and a very awful like rosé on the flight. I'm now sipping on a mango daiquiri on the beach. So we're staying at the Ryu Playa Car, Playa Car in Playa del Carmen. We're on like a two-e package holiday that I booked as a surprise for Jas's birthday, but I had to end up telling him a few days before we came because there was this whole drama where he had to go out, like go into the office the day before we flew yesterday. It's 29 degrees currently, but it is like 6.30 p.m. here, so it's quite nice actually. We're gonna go for like an early dinner. We're gonna shower up with the dinner. We were in pool number one first, and that one's got like a bar in it, and it was so crowded. It's actually a really tiny pool. Then we went to the beach, and we got into this pool. And um, this one's a lot bigger. It's a bit nicer, but again, it's full of kids. And there's a baby pool back there. But now we're just going to grab a pre-dinner drink, and then head up and go and get ready for dinner. Right, we're at the Palm restaurant, which is the buffet restaurant. The food here looks amazing, but nobody really knows what's vegetarian or not. And I finally, like the fifth person I asked, kind of told me, so I've just got a whole selection of like salads because I am craving something fresh. And I made Jas get um, a prawn ceviche. I have no idea what it's gonna taste like, but it just sounds really fancy and I feel like people love it. I was like, you have to get one. It was the last one at the buffet. Oh, you've gone with some hot food as well. Yeah, I had a mixture really. You got some chicken, chicken mojo or something else. So ah, I, it all looks so good. I just for really... thing, whatever it's called. Oh right, yeah. So I... Success. Just found my English speaking guy again, and he told me the quesadilla are just cheese only. Slightly boring choice, but whatever. Um, I went back for the bean salad because it was incredible. I know this is probably stating the obvious, but the jalapenos here in Mexico are on another level. They're not like spicier, they're just crunchier. Because ours that come in a jar tend to be a bit softer and like softer and soggier, but these are just so good. I'm obsessed. Like, a, oh, this is just heaven on a plate to me. Hola from Mexico. It is 6 a.m. I've been awake for two hours thanks to jet lag, but we're off to go and find the sunrise, so let's go. We might have just missed it. Although, it seems to be over there. Oh, it's so nice. Imagine having all this. Wait, we didn't see this pool yesterday, Jess. No, we didn't actually, yeah. Weird. Ah, amazing. We thought the pool bar was a bit crappy yesterday, but actually, this is the one, isn't it? It's so big. Yes. It's so hard to walk on sand in uh, flip-flops. One second, let me just take these off. I just want to show you, where's this animal gone? They've got this really weird animal all over our resort. We're not allowed to feed it. It looks like a giant rat. Jas, what's it called? What's this animal? Oh, it's too far away from me now. I thought it was an aardvark. Okay, I don't want to get too close. Okay, let's go find the sunrise, because I think I see a few people sat on the beach. Um, in anticipation for it, which we might have just missed. And there we go, the sun has officially risen. And we have spent far too long hanging around, trying to take photos, none of which are probably like anyway. Um, we're now heading to breakfast, it's about 6.30 in the morning. We have uh, 
three hours to eat no till well we've got a welcome meeting because this is like a tv package but we're not fussed about that because i don't really care um and then at 10 a.m we're being picked up to go snorkeling in porto morelos which is very very exciting i've already got my swimwear on ready because i just cannot wait it's actually really scary this thing was about to attack me let me just zoom in from a distance oh there's one baby one there but on the left somewhere there's a little hole and one just stuck its head back in the way. This is what those animals are called. Cotis? Is that how you pronounce it, Jess? Cotis, I don't know. But yeah, it's like a cross between a rat and a squirrel and a hedgehog. Now we're off for breakfast. I've got some refried beans. I think I've got too many here. I had these nachos a little while ago just to try them and oh dear god they are the best nachos I've ever had in my whole entire life. I love their Mexican salsa this morning and they've got it with red onion. Yesterday it was with like regular onion and the jalapenos here are insane. Cheers! We have breakfast mimosas. This is so exciting. Oh, oh nice. they I like are it. sweet. Champagne is it right? Champagne and what? I think it's Prosecco or sparkling wine. An orange juice. We're really early. This is what happens when you wake up so early. But um, here's another quick outfit of the day. I've just got changed because all my clothes are too big for me anyway. Um, we've got swimwear on underneath this. And we are heading out. Right, yeah. Jess? Turn around. Show us your little waterproof bag. <laughs> it's so cute. We should have definitely bought the bigger one um, in the Philippines. So we're just heading down to the lobby area to try and find where this Tui meeting is, just to see what excursions they have and all the rest of it, um, which will be quite interesting. Cheers. There are two types of people in this life. One that gets an iced coffee at 9 a.m. and another one that makes a start <laughs> on the cocktails. Just had a taxi pick us up from the hotel and we're on our way to Puerto Morelos, which is a fishing village about 40 minutes away from Playa Car or um, the hotel where we're staying. We're going on a press trip with Original Travels. They've organised this whole morning out for us. We're doing a two hour snorkeling tour in the Miso American Reef, I think. There's like really cool coral fish and stuff. So I'm really excited for that. And then they're taking us back to our hotel. So I want to take you along for the ride. Obviously, I can't vlog when I'm snorkeling. So Jas is playing around with his GoPro. Um, and it's the first time we're using it, so hopefully we get some really good footage. Because I also don't have my underwater phone case with me. My waterproof phone case or whatever it's called. Not that it's very good actually at taking video. So um, yeah, I'm excited for this morning out. And it is so hot and humid. The aircon is on in the car. And it does not feel like it. Like honestly, it's... So we've just driven down this... Oh, the birds here are so loud. I don't know what that is. But anyway, we've just driven down this really cute little road. This is a fishing village and it was a bit of a mission to find, but we found where we're going. Our bookings here and we're going on a two hour snorkeling thing with a company called Om Delphin. We're just picking our shoes. We're in the snorkel place and then we're heading out. This is where you practice your snorkeling if you need to, but we've said we don't need to. And the boat picks you up at the bottom of these steps. Oh, and you go out on this boat for 45 minutes. Then you snorkel in a conservation area. So you're not allowed to wear sunscreen or anything because it's bad for the fish and the coral. And then you come back on the boat. So nice here. <laughs> Snorkeling 
water. It's really hard swimming with one hand. I've got chlorine in my mouth. I honestly feel like my vlog has been all over the place. This is my sixth time recording this. I was out on the balcony and there was just so much noise, like porters with luggage trolleys, kids next door are having some kind of party. Then some old man started waving at me because he could see me filming. He thought I was waving at him. Then his wife stopped. It was a whole thing. Anyway, um, I was saying that we went snorkeling this morning. I don't know how much footage I got from that. So if I did get any, you'll have already seen it. But it was an incredible experience. I like, honestly, we snorkeled for two hours in the Mesoamerican Reef. We saw some beautiful fish, stunning coral, and it was so shallow that fish literally swam, like so close to me, right by my eyes. It was our first time using the GoPro that I bought just for his birthday, and I don't think we got a lot of footage, which he's really annoyed about, because when can you actually practice using a GoPro when you're snorkeling? Like, you can't just go to your local pool at home, do you know what I mean? It has to be when you actually just do it. So I don't think we got a lot of footage, which is a bit of a shame because it sits on your head, but you can't have it any lower down because of your snorkel mask and you can't put your head all the way in because the water will go in through the pipe. It's the whole thing, isn't it? So, oh, I really hope we did get some footage. Honestly, I think we saw way more fish here than we did when we went diving in the Philippines. I mean, I know we did. It was just, it was just incredible. Here's a quick outfit of the day. We're going out for dinner now. My white Burks, this dress that I bought on Vinted, I think, before our last holiday. It's from Shein, or Sheen as people like to call it. My Uniqlo viral bag. Do you want to tell them where your stuff is from? My stuff is from. You're flattening my hair as well. <laughs> it's fine, go on. Know, where my stuff's from? ASOS? Okay, Probably. ASOS t shirt. Your shorts are quite old. Anyway, oh, and Tom's. Shall we go? These are from Tom's. But yeah, the brand is called Tom's. <laughs> Let's go for dinner, Jas. <laughs> Read a key, take the key. How was your first outfit of the day, Jas? Was that your first outfit of the day? Probably the last one of the day as well. <laughs> yeah, you didn't do very well. Um, you may be wondering why I haven't vlogged the hotel room, and that is because it is really nothing special, I just have to say. It's fine, it's not bad. The actual hotel itself is quite nice actually but you know once you've been to like one really wait this bit always confuses me it's this way isn't it once you've been to like one really all inclusive resort anywhere in the world you've been to them all um this was advertised as a five star i would definitely call it a three it's a little bit shabby the rooms are but the one positive is i don't think i've ever been to like an all inclusive resort where breakfast, lunch and dinner has been absolutely outstanding. I had high hopes anyway because it's Mexico but the food here has blown me away. It's been so so good hasn't it? I've definitely enjoyed it here. <laughs> okay so this is the walkway up to the lobby. They have like a main buffet restaurant and then there's an Italian, a Asian and a steak I want to say, I don't really know, that you don't actually need to pre-book but you just like it's first come first serve basis. There's loads of different bars here and yeah it's quite nice actually. So we're in the Asian restaurant which is called Jade and the guy very kindly pointed out all the vegetarian options for me. So I've got veg spring roll, veg tempura, quite a lot of satay sauce, uh, sushi and a couple of glasses of Prosecco. We're having a drink, there's some karaoke going on. Right, we're having mezcal. Mezcal! I have no idea what we've just ordered, but we've made some friends and they're making us get this. Is that mango tequila? Oh, okay. Of the day, you can go get your shoes if you want. We're just heading out. 
we have access to um, two other Ryu hotels that are like in the same area as our hotel. I think there's five in, in total, but we have access to two. A man at breakfast told us that there's one that has monkeys. So I think we're gonna go check the monkeys out. We also wanna go across the road where the shops are to speak to another man we heard about that sells excursions that are cheaper than Tui, like, because the rep isn't here yet, it's too early in the morning. So we're gonna go and check that out because we really wanna go swimming with the turtles, but I don't want to jinx it because every time we've tried to do this in a different country, we've got the wrong season or the turtle sanctuary doesn't exist or something has gone wrong. So it'd be really nice if we actually get to see some turtles, but let's not jinx it. So this is the hotel where we're staying, the Ree Playa car, and we literally just crossed the road and there's a whole little shopping area here. So this is actually a gated community, Playa car, I think it's called. Um, so it's very safe to walk the streets here, um, et cetera, et cetera. Can't really see because of the backlight, but it is so colorful here. Look at all this. They weren't kidding about it being expensive. But I want to be the van. You know, for your phones, it's good for you to buy those bags so that the water can get in. You know? He's got a GoPro. I've got a waterproof GoPro, yeah. So that's very good. Take that. Swimsuits, towel. Yeah. Yes. Very light. That was a long 10 minute walk. We've just made it to the Ryu Yucatan. Oh, it's so hot. It's like 35 degrees. We've just been for a really nice dip in the pool. Um, we're at the Miu Yucatan, which is a 10 minute walk from our hotel. This heat kills you, by the way, trying to go for a walk. This hotel is very different to ours. We've only seen one pool so far, but the um, crowd seemed to be a lot more mature um, and it's a bit more peaceful. Like ours isn't a party hotel. There's a Rio Tequila across the road, which we're also allowed to go into, and that's definitely the party hotel. Ours is more of a mix of like ours in between families, this one but like not too many annoying kids and young people, sort of our age and like older sort of couples. It's like it, ours is a real mix. Um, but it's got it's just a different vibe. It's really nice here. It's like hardly anyone in the pool. I can't really film it because there's there are people. But where's my drink? I've been having, I know it's all inclusive, I haven't really been drinking much because it's so hot, but soda water with seven limes is the magic number and loads of ice. It's so refreshing, it's a glorious drink. Ooh. Just stopped for lunch at uh, Rui Yucatan. I've got a vegetarian pizza, some salady bits. These mushrooms are incredible, some plantain, a few chips with this spicy Mexican salsa, and of course my soda water with loads of limes. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> that moves quite fast. <laughs> no, he's scared. I think they won't attack. I don't think they attack. We've spent all day at the Rio Yucatan and just hanging out by the pool, having lunch. Now we're on monkey watch because apparently they come out at 4 p.m. Although, really? Ah, that's not a monkey. What's that? That's a karate. <laughs> anyway, we're basically just walking around trying to find monkeys, but they're not monkeys. They're all doing the same thing. Trust thought this guy was a monkey. Where's he gone? Here's my outfit of the day. I've showered, washed my hair once again, 24 hours later, and we're heading out for dinner. I keep filming these outfit of the days and then I just forget to vlog, but we are off for breakfast and then hopefully to go kayaking. Can't see your face. Yeah. Um, well, we're not kind of match on purpose, by the way. This, we're not really matching. Just. Well, I've got this colour here. I'm so tanned. I love tanning my legs, but not my face and my arms. <laughs> Are giving me life. These are called Chico Ears. I, I don't know. I thought they were called loaded nachos, but whatever. I don't know what this is called either, but she made it without the chicken and gave me refried beans instead. It's so good. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. Right, do we think I'm a cap person or not? Mm. Like, I've had this for so many years, but. It's a bit big actually, I've never worn it, I don't know. Anyway, we're off to go and try and rent a kayak and I need to keep the sun away from my eyes, so here we go. We're kayaking, guys! <laughs> 
there's a jet ski about to ruin our lives because oh they create so many waves it's really scary kayaking here because the waves are actually quite strong for the current and i can't like do it with one hand ah just go well, right, right. Then we might do that next and then in front of you on the top right i don't know how i feel about that hola 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 Jas in the back seat doing all the rowing. Last time it was my turn, this time I'm just chilling. And it's really scary. I don't know why it's scary yet. Supposed to look out for a jet ski, but we're like two hotels over. Yeah, we're the wrong hotel, so I mean, here's me with the parked up, we're gonna have to go back in the uh, sea now and then do some more kayaking, I guess. Kayaking, and I feel really sick because of the motion of the waves, vertigo, and all that. So we came back a little bit early. The guy was like, "Yeah, you're at the wrong hotel." It looks like the same sign, but we're like two hotels over that way on the beach. So now we need to get back in the kayak and make our way to our own hotel. Right, we're back on the kayak because we ended up at the wrong hotel, which was like all the way over there. And now, once again, I'm just chilling. These waves are so wavy. It's giving me vertigo. How are you doing in the back there, Jess? Hey, I can't hear you from the front, but I'm How's a real long time. <laughs> I think it's swimmingly well now. Oh, do you know what? You missed a hilarious moment. I fell out of my kayak trying to get out of it because this massive wave basically pushed me out, turned the kayak on its side. Then I thought I got out and I landed flat on my arse and the guy's like, are you all right? And I just couldn't stop laughing, it was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it is so hot. This GoPro is so cool. Yeah. I mean, why did we not buy one sooner? Not cheap, wow, but... let's see the footage when we get home. Oh my God, there is so much seaweed here. It's a, um, yeah, it's quite difficult. And like, you just have a sudden drop as you enter the ocean. Oh, it's glorious. Yeah. All oh, right, I can't see anything. Ah! Here's a joke for you. Go on, Jess. Here's a joke for you. Why did the ocean cry? Why? Because of seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this, guys, this is what I have to live with, like, all the time. Ouch. That really hurt, Ness. Did it? No, of course it's living. It's living soft. Mexico, and how it's from Mexico. Um, you as well. You're about. And we actually understand some of their Spanish. I can't speak it back. We are not speaking French, I tried, but you know. It's pretty cool. This is what I'm married to. Actually, I'll see it to you though. I can't really see the screen, but it looks like a bit of a greeny, blonde, like 70s style. Well, what are you going to style or what? Got, oh, God, I can't quite laugh at him in the sea. <laughs> We're just walking down to Fifth Avenue, which is a pedestrianised street. And one of the top things to do here in Playa del Carmen, it's um, 45 minutes long if you walk from one end to the other. But our first stop is going to be the Frida Kahlo Museum, which is somewhere around here, I think. And that's so cool. It's a floral display. Fun fact for you, Frida Kahlo's real name was Magdalena. So 
place is really cool, but it's actually really small. It doesn't actually house any of the original artwork by Frida Kahlo because they're too close to the ocean, so they're not allowed to keep it. They do have another museum in Mexico City. We've just seen someone right behind us on a guided tour, so we're going to try and just listen in on that. But um, it's a really small place for the price. really interesting museum like it was interesting I definitely don't think it was worth the price everything here is so expensive went through the gift shop on the way out and they, I didn't realize they use the dollar symbol for Mexican pesos so Jess and I were like 700 US dollars for an iPhone case which I know that's pesos but it's still like 42 dollars so about yeah. 40 quid I don't know Perfect. it's like it's insane anyway get tostadas anywhere in the UK and I've had them at Oaxaca before like the restaurant not the city or place in Mexico but I don't know if they're just like deep fried tortillas like the little ones or what they are but oh, this is ah oh, should we get some I don't know how much that is should we get some yeah get one We've just had a really big dinner back at the hotel. Fifth Avenue was really nice. Loads of like market stalls, shops, bars, restaurants, hotels, just like loads going on. It was really, really hot and sweaty though and it's open till quite late. There's clubs there too. We had ice cream, which was quite nice. I need to have a shower, figure out what we're doing tomorrow because it is Jas's birthday. <laughs> I knew he'd start clapping. <laughs> may or may not look the same as yesterday. Oh, today's Jess's birthday! Hey. <laughs> hey! He's making me go paragliding and I am scared shitless. I've got a tankini on and some shorts and we're gonna go find the man who was meant to be here two hours ago, but he's not for some reason. I'm really scared. I don't do heights. I do water, but I don't do heights. It's just gonna be really scary. No. The main thing is uh, you've got health insurance, no, life insurance, yeah? <laughs> Liking it, good. Can they just drop me onto the <laughs> beach? <laughs> it's a lovely view from here, isn't it? Do you think? Relaxing, yeah. isn't it? The top of the world. Hola. You'll be fine. Whoa, 
we're going back higher again. Wow, look at that view. If this was the last footage you ever see of me, just know that I feel really sick. Gaff, you're terrified. I've never put Bronte anything tighter in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I can swim now, I think. Can we? No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. My hands are still shaking. I don't know if you can see. I don't feel well. <laughs> Do you, did you like it, Jess? Yeah, I like it already. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, when you're in the air, it's fine, but they um, take you out to a boat on a jet ski, which is absolutely terrifying. They go really fast. You have to jump on. I bash my knees. It's just so scary. The sea is so choppy. And the boat was like rocking loads. Oh my god, it was just. I'm never ever parasailing again. Um, I've done it once. No idea what the footage is like. I even bought the photos. I never buy photos from an experience ever because it's just a massive rip off. But this time around, I was like, no, I need evidence that I've done it because I'm never doing it again in my life, even though it's like I 35 quid. I think GoPro, by the way. Yeah, but just in case. Oh my gosh. We just popped it back into our room just before lunch. And guess what? The, the maid has left a birthday card for me and a birthday cake made of towels and some chocolates I think, what are they? Uh, Hershey's I guess. Hershey's kisses. And the biggest surprise is, and this is not taking any credit for it, she said nothing to do with her. Um, so I'm surprised, how did they know it's my birthday? It's a very nice surprise indeed. Well that was the scariest thing I've ever done, I've finally calmed down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never doing that again, seriously. I think it's quite fun actually. We're now going for lunch, we'll just have a plate of chips yeah. at the bar just because nothing was taking the edge off, my hands were shaking for so long. I don't know what my hair's doing, but we're gonna go to the pool, change into a different bikini, and we're good to go, right? Yep. You had a good birthday so far? Oh, a really good birthday, yeah, I like the paragliding. I can't believe we got scared of that. The scariest bit was a jet ski, but we getting to the boat. That was, that's another thing that you can pay to do, is hire a jet ski, and I will pay a jet ski to never take me on one again. <laughs> that was terrifying, it was awful, wasn't what? it? What was it? The jet ski! Yeah, because that idiot was like, pop off it and it's all down, it's like wobbling left and right. Not just and... that though, like you have to wade into the water to get on the jet ski. He yeah. doesn't come in, well he didn't come in like really close. But because there's a big drop as soon as you enter the ocean, like the water was up to here on me. So if the water's like this deep and you're meant to climb into a jet ski that sits about here, but your knees first, how do you do that? Like I'm not twice the height that I am, right? If I was like... I don't know, mm. like eight, nine, ten foot. I don't, I don't know. It was quite lethal, actually. It was so difficult. And then I was like, can you please go slowly? And I swear he sped up. I don't know how much of my dinner I've been vlogging, but the buffet restaurant at dinner time is amazing. And there's one chef that always knows I'm vegetarian and he's always like, so what would you like today? These taquitos are meant to have pork in them and he's made me some with refried beans. I already had another plate here um, with some salsa, cucumber, coriander rice. Whack. And these jalapeno poppers are insane. But I'm so excited to dig in and try this. How's your dinner? Mine's really good. Mm. The fish. He's been loving the fish here, haven't you? Yeah. Well, good morning. Look at how dark I am. This is absolutely ridiculous. Oh my god, my tan is a joke. Anyway, it's like just gone 6 a.m. and we are off to go for a quick breakfast before we go snorkeling with the turtles. <clears throat> I'm so tired, I really need coffee. Chicos, todos tienen máscara, tubo. We are the Akamal of Tour. Akamal Beach, which means many turtles. Ak means turtle, right? Yeah. Umal means many or more. More than one. I don't know. Look at that. There's Jas. That's me. Look at my gear. I think it's all steamed up already. This is where we're headed, guys. This is our tour guide basically, he knows where the turtles Hi. are. Hello! Akumal, 2023. Yeah. Welcome. Good, thank you. I'm really excited, are you? Oh, it's just me, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. It's two minutes 
But one thing I learned is swimming with a GoPro in your hand is not easy at all. I saw two turtles though. I saw about three, I think. Two what? Or four. Yeah, definitely. Because you had the ring and the guy was like kind of pulling you along. Yeah, I, I had to grab the I little mean, ring for like a little kid. Close. But I had no choice because there's no way of me swimming with this GoPro in one hand. They just got a stop, just hard to sort of maneuver and capture things. That was so fun though. We saw, saw about three turtles, I think. One baby one. Oh, yeah, one might come into the sea. Life jackets. Oh, life jackets. Oh, your yeah, life jackets. Tours over for the turtles, now we're going to Cenote. It was so much fun. <gasps> yeah. Sandy, it's up to you. Yeah. This way, Sandy. Yeah. Right this way, chicos. Buen día, bro. Okay. Once you're ready for a new beginning, you know, it's ten list for a nuevo comienzo. We go to the war, okay? Okay, chicos. We say to my friend Ramon, Maloquín Ramon. Maloquín Ramon. Maloquín means good day. Okay. Bueno, pues muy bien. Tengo aquí más todo esto, hay todo lugar, se nota. Tengo esta casa que han cambiado el permiso, tengo un micas, permiso. Están aquí, cambiado todo con este lugar, se nota. Hay que empezar a utilizar. Así me conectan, se cambian de casa. Cosas que se utilizan se encargan. Permitido en todo, ¿eh? Electrician, have your cashing, but connect tranquilamente. Eh? Look at your paper, it's a little bit of a cook. Yeah, the water looks quite cool. Yeah, look at it. Mm -hmm. Do you even think it's water there? Yeah, they give it a little bit. Dale cinco minutos. Wow. Are they saying it's cold or something? <laughs> Is it cold? Then uh, yeah. what do you. Consider cold. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be refresh refreshing. It's, it's uh, 24 cold. degrees Celsius. Huh? Oh, that's not cold. That's warm. That's hot. Uh, hot. 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 <laughs> Crystal clear water. Look at that. You wouldn't even think there's water there. In the lava? No. Sit down on the rock. Maybe sit down on the rock. No voy a ir con luz, no te preocupes ahí. Ahora voy con luz. Cold. It's really cold, yeah. It's been fine.
So now we're going to change the technique. Now we're going with our feet to the front. Okay. Right, let me just perch you on the balcony and come and talk to you. Look at the state of me, I look awful. We're just heading for lunch into the pool. We've just come back from snorkeling and it was incredible. We snorkeled with turtles in Akimal Beach. I was gonna say Bay Beach, which was incredible. And then we went to a cenote, our first and only cenote here, but it was stunning. We're now going for our last lunch in Mexico. It's our last full day here. And we're gonna hit the pool slash beach slash bar and then see where the day takes us currently on a beach drunk on the beach our hotel is there we had an epic day honestly we've just spent all afternoon well the past couple of hours just drinking in the pool bar getting hammered on you last night it's been great chatting to loads of random people but um wow look at my tan anyway i'm gonna end this vlog here just had a really relaxed just kind of just doing loads of like water activities parasailing which scared the paras sailing sailing which scared the shit out of me I'm never ever doing that again I'll be writing loads of blog posts right now I need to 